Hi, this is James Blunt. It's James, a wine guy, here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. This is Ravenswood 2008 Single Vineyard Designate from the Berisha Vineyard in Sonoma Valley. 14.5% alcohol content. Love the packaging, a very nice screen package. Sophisticated looking. And this is giving some um, production notes here. And, and it doesn't give a lot, but it gives a few points here. That is a thousand, thousand case production. It is containing the following soil types. Um, Tuscan red soil and gravelly loam. And it's a really important distinction in terms of understanding Zinfandel. And this is a 76% Zinfandel wine, 24% Petit Syrah. And for me, it's one wine where I think it plays extremely well with Petit Syrah. In some ways, it becomes one wine, not two. And uh, even though it's a quarter percent uh, or quarter um, percentage of this whole entire uh, bottle here is, is uh, Petit Syrah, it tastes like a Zinfandel, and I think that's just the mastery of these two wines together. Now, for me, this is a really nice wine to have in terms of, a, you know, first of all, the acid base on this is really spectacular. It's going to go well with food. It can go on its own perfectly well, but for me, it's it's screaming food. And it's not just because I'm hungry at this point. It's just that, that that's just one of the key indicators that while it's really good now, Imagine with um, a filet or ma imagine with just maybe chicken or something that is just um, uh, th th you wouldn't think of serving. Maybe burgers would go really well with this. Um, there's so many things that can go well with this wine. And I've had so many of this, the Ravenswood wines and have served them with food and especially the single vineyard designates. Now, what I like about this wine is opening up. It's just, op you know, first of all, open up maybe 20 minutes ago, but inside the glass itself, it's opening up into becoming uh, a different characteristic than when it was just in the bottle, giving notes of uh, red floral, um, notes of rose petal and, and a bit of violet. And for me, some beautiful taste profile. So I did a taste earlier, but I want to do one right now on this taping. So here we go. We'll take a little taste. Hmm. The scent on this wine is a, you know, again, that red floral pattern, but it also seems like it's going to be a sweet wine that you're going to linger on with some sweetness, but there's no sweetness. This is a very dry wine, and I think with that comes some really nice uh, prizes, and that is, one, you're getting notes of blueberry, acai, chili ancho, just a hint. You're getting notes of cinnamon and a little bit of cardamom and malabar pepper, and for me, that's it's just a beautiful way of just cascading from note to note. It, on the finish, I'm tasting the Petit Syrah, but at a very, very um, nuanced measure. Now, this is a polished wine, sophisticated wine. This wine is saying to me um, that I think, first of all, Zinfandel, I've talked about it many times before, is really one of these wines that will become an international wine at some point in the future. And you can see why. It just has so many distinct qualities, and it goes so many directions, and it goes well with the terroir where it is grown. So I'm glad to see the soil type on the back of this wine. Uh, to tell you some key characteristics that make this wine different. So it's a beautiful place to visit, by the way. I love Sonoma Valley. So I, I, well, I'm going to give this wine a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. For more reviews, please go to jamesawineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and Google+. Salud.